Hello, everyone. It is Tia here along with I'm Kim for another episode of Masks Off. And so today, like always, we had a thought of what we were going to talk about. This is more was an impromptu recording. And as we were talking, we realized with such interesting aspect is that this recording is coming out on the Thanksgiving holiday in the United States. And we shifted into gratitude and we check the date and it's like, well, how interesting is that? Yeah. So cool. It's so cool how we went from one thing, which we'll share as we talk about the, uh, after the quote into gratitude. So the quote today is from Helen Keller, the marvelous richness of human experience would lose something of rewarding joy if there were no limitations to overcome. The hilltop hour would not be half so wonderful if there were no dark valleys to to traverse. I love that. Oh my God. It's so good. You know, as you were reading it though, as much as like, I love it and we're going to talk about gratitude and we're going to talk about our process. And I just have to say, and until you come on the other side of whatever the situation is that you're struggling with, when you're in it, it's so hard, isn't it? Like we just have to acknowledge when you're in it, it's so hard to like feel the gratitude, to feel the abundance. Totally. But when you can get to the mountaintop and then you can say and realize like, oh, that particular situation was here to help me or it was here to grow me and, you know, to help me to learn. Um, then that's, that's what we're talking about. That's the gratitude piece. Exactly. Because like I said, this was an impromptu recording. Yes. You just sent me a text like, Hey, I have some time. Should we hop on? And I had just gotten home and was going through some things and you were going through some things. And so we really just talked and I was totally in lack and victim and martyr role with some things going on. Um, especially this morning, really just put it all to a head. I think it was a culmination of lots of things and you were having what you shared. And then all of a sudden working and talking to you and like feeling seen and heard and hearing your situation, knowing I wasn't alone, that you're traversing these valleys as well. I am now so filled with gratitude and recognizing like, you know what? (laughs) It wasn't so bad, but like you said, when you're in it, even though we have the wisdom to know we, we will get through this, we will deconstruct, right. it, go within, it doesn't matter. You're still in it and you're still, I don't know if it was a, it's a spiral. Cause like, I still could see the light on the outside, but I still was like trying to justify or trying to figure out or trying to, trying to, the doing of the wisdom. And I hadn't really grabbed the being of the wisdom, which came through talking with you and really peeking behind the curtain a little bit more. And so I'm like, oh yeah, there's that pattern again. How interesting is that? So how, what about you? Yeah, well, I'll just say too, that, um, what you're also saying, and I'll underscore is how we did it together in community and like how important it is at times to have, whether it be just a person or to be in a group or have community, And you and I talk about it all the time with masks off, like we have our Facebook community and, you know, we encourage, or we reach out that if anyone wants or needs additional support, not to hesitate to contact you or to contact me so that you don't feel like you're doing it alone Mm -hmm. because it is hard Mm -hmm. when you're stuck in it and it meaning whatever muck that's going on, whatever situation that is coming up that you feel stuck in and you may be spiraling, you might feel like you are in an abyss and it feels dark and it feels like, oh, I'm just spinning out. When you have someone else or you have community, it's, it can help to see the light a little bit better because someone can hold space for you and shine the light. So I just am underscoring that. Yeah. And I think what you just said too, it's like, also having the ability to someone to reflect back and like, let me tell you what's going on. And like, I was sharing, you know, and I could see the ridiculousness of the story while I was sharing with you, but you didn't judge me. You just like gently gave me nudges like, oh, or, you know, this is what showed up for me. So I could grab something from you and your deconstruction and, you know, or like, Hey, have you thought about this or 
you know, taking this part of the responsibility, but that really wasn't your part of the responsibility that you were taking on. And so you gave me right. permission to be like, oh, look how that martyr shows up. I'm taking on everyone's responsibility instead of saying, wait, I own this piece, but I don't own the choice you made, even though your choice was a result of my initial choice, you could have chosen yeah. differently. And that's what we talk about all the time of like acceptance of the as is, but then you have a choice. You can choose yeah. to go with your pattern or your wounding, or you can choose to take a different path in your adult self and not take other people's stuff and put it on your plate when it shouldn't be there. And so, yeah. And, and so we, I started the, con well, no, I didn't start the conversation that way we were chatting, but at some point I said to you, I was thinking about codependence and I was thinking yeah. about like, you know, doing an episode called codependent no more because Melody Beatty wrote her book codependent no more. And I was feeling very much like I was being codependent with my daughter, which is a huge pattern for me. You know, mm -hmm. it's my mom was codependent. I'm sure her mom was, and it's generations of codependency. So I was feeling very codependent. And as you helped me to see, you know, you said, well, Kim, like, you know, you've had a lot going on lately. You've had a lot on your plate recently. And a lot of times I feel like for me in my life, when I'm in that busyness, or I have a lot of pressure going on that can whack me out of alignment right. of taking care of my mind, body, and spirit. And when I'm out of alignment, and I think when any of us is out of alignment, we go back to our default, right. our default patterns, our default behaviors of how to cope and how to deal. And I wasn't even conscious of it. Like, oh, I'm really busy and I'm overwhelmed. And I wasn't like, oh, now the next step is I'm going to be out of alignment. Right. And now I'm going to go back to my pattern of being codependent and then getting really blah, blah, blah. Yep. Um, it, it wasn't conscious at all. It was just like, but what I was aware of is something didn't feel right inside yes. my body. Right. Exactly. exactly. Because we have been in this practice now of checking in with our bodies, especially since like over a year ago mm -hmm. when we did balancing your backpack and we do in our Facebook community, we, every week we show up, we're either talking about the body, the mind or the spirit. Yep. So when I was checking in with my body, I felt something was off. And so then it was just a lot of this investigating of what is this about? And then I began to be aware and notice, oh, holy cow. Like, I will say that, like, you know, I'll share the one example with my daughter, with her paper. Mm -hmm. Like, I haven't really done that since high school, you know, and she's now in her second year of college. And I like asked her over the course of yesterday, five times, <laughs> hey, how's that paper going? Hey, by the way, did you get that paper done? Did you, <laughs> did you turn paper? it in yet? Did you turn it in yet? Oh, okay. Hey, how's that paper? <laughs> right. I mean, it's so good to laugh about it now, but let me tell you, I was not laughing about it really exactly. yesterday. I was really caught up and anxious mm -hmm. and worried. So there's the codependence, there's the default. And so it just really kind of, again, like you said, it took talking with you to just really shine the light on what is going on and just knowing like, all right, I just have to, you know, I need to shift this pattern. I need to sh shift what's going on inside me. Yeah, exactly. And, you know, and similar for me, this, you know, similar situation of nagging and overstepping my boundary into yeah. their decisions and recognizing like, oh, you know, what? if only, if I hadn't done that one step, the snowball wouldn't have continued. There wouldn't have been a snowball. Yes. You know, so if I had just stayed in my lane instead of crossing over into my daughter's lane, yes, it, it would have been okay. But then she had the choice to stay in her lane, but she didn't. So we like merged lanes and turned into it, this. It became completely fast. enmeshed. Yeah. 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 Like all of a sudden I was like, wait a minute. All of a sudden there's a truck and a trailer instead of two cars. <laughs> we're together. That's so great. <laughs> but I think too, the gratitude. So it's gratitude for you, gratitude for community, gratitude for the word. Yes. I can now look back like you and laugh at it 
and see yes. like, oh, you know what? I'm grateful I had that reminder. Because if I didn't have that reminder, it may have been under the surface and popping in and I didn't see it or it needed to come up because sometimes we need to have those reminders of like, Hey, you're still human. Yeah. Don't ever think your work is done because it's never done. Right. Um, Because sometimes when things are going smoothly, we can think like, Oh, I figured that pattern out. I see it all the time. And then like you said, when we're out of alignment, when we have a lot of other stuff on our plate, or maybe not, maybe we just have a really bad moment. We always can shift into those patterns because they are our safe place for decades, right? I know. Because that's how we survived through many, many years to keep showing up every day. Yeah. A hundred percent, a hundred percent. So I do, um, Yeah. I love that. I feel so grateful as well for, you know, the opportunity to look back and to be able to recognize at this point and to be able to laugh laugh at this because before, like, I don't know, five years ago, 10 years ago and on, I wouldn't have known what was going on. And I would stay perpetually in this miserable, yucky cycle, feeling crappy because I didn't know what I know now. You right. know what I mean? I yes. wasn't on the journey maybe long enough, or I just didn't have the awareness and wisdom. So now I'm so grateful that I can be caught in, a, in my patterns and I can take a little, have a little slip, but be able to come out of it more quickly and have that feeling of abundance instead of lack. Like that yeah. is just, there's so much joy. There's so much freedom there's more authenticity. There's so many positive feelings that can come, that come from that empowerment. I feel so much more empowered because before I felt so captive to my emotions and my feelings and my pain, like I felt helpless and powerless. Like I was never going to escape it right now. I have this greater wisdom, this understanding. I have a connection with myself, with my heart and my mind Mm -hmm. so that I can understand this and I can do the work like so much gratitude. What a beautiful day to have this recording coming out. It is. It is. And I think, you know, one thing I will add, you mentioned, you know, five, 10 years ago, you didn't have nearly the awareness and the understanding, but what, but we also have to be grateful for that five, wherever we were at, like, yes, you know, so, and I know that's not what you were saying, but I do just want to point it out for people who are on wherever you're at on your journey. If you know, this is the first time listening to us and all, and you know, you've read a couple of books or whatever, you are exactly where you're supposed to be because both of us were at the very beginning of that first baby step on the path. Yeah you know, of shifting into, okay, I'm reading all these books, but now I'm ready to start actually taking this and applying it and taking action. Even if I don't know what that looks like yet, I just have to do something. I have to change something. And so without all those steps before us, that's why, you know, there is no destination, you know, it's like the hilltop and the valleys. And so your hilltop and valleys may be multiple times a day, or maybe once a week. Right. Or it doesn't matter. It's there to help you. Because Absolutely. Once you get curious, investigate and have that awareness, the other pieces start to fall into place more yeah. and more with practice. Such a great point. And, and even though then I didn't feel it, but now I even feel grateful for that pain that I had mm-hmm. all those years ago, because it was that pain that got me to be where I am mm-hmm. now today. Oh, I love that you brought that up, right? Yeah. You say that a lot. It's like, it, it can be painful and that's okay. Yeah. I, in fact, one of the things that I remember hearing, I don't know, 15 years ago when I used to go to um, some CODA meetings for codependence, mm-hmm. codependency. And one of the things that they would say all the time is that you have to go through the pain to get to the other side. Right. And I didn't really understand that saying then, mm. because I just didn't have enough like where awareness or understanding. Yeah. Now I truly understand. And I embody what that means to go through the pain, to get to the other side. Yeah. And, and people and, and our brains are wired to avoid pain and right. move toward pleasure. We are just wired that way. Right. 
However, that saying you need to go through it means you need to go head on with the pain. Right. But when you do on the other side is the healing is the growth is the freedom. And it doesn't mean a one and done because we have to keep, right. re, you know, you will go through many layers of pain and go come back around. There it is again. There it is again. Right. And but it becomes less and less. Exactly. Cause like, I think that, you know, just today, like our experiences over the last few days and then yeah. talking about everything right now where you know, maybe we dipped into the pain a little bit, but we didn't fully go in. We went in and it becomes easier and the pain doesn't feel so suffocating. Right. Or that it's going to drown you, you know, cause I don't oh, yes. know for our listeners. I mean, I've had where I'm like, I don't know if I'm going to get out of this, you Me know, too. I'm, you know, it's like, I'm going to open Pandora's box. Wait, am I really ready to look at all this old stuff that I haven't healed and dealt with and like investigated and gotten curious and had compassion, but <laughs> Yeah, we are meant to process our pain, but we have been taught to avoid it. 100%. Oh my crazy. goodness. I know. And so many of the teachers that are out there, I mean, Gabor, you know, you're, you're studying with him right now. I'm reading his book and, and he's just one of the many that talk about, oh, yeah. you know, what happens when we're in childhood and how, you know, the pain creates and develops and we have to heal that trauma. Right. We have to integrate it and make peace with yeah. that. Exactly. We can change it, but we can change how our, our association, our connection with it, and how we move forward with it. Yes. Because it's there to help us today. It, it it is. It is here to help because it's and when and going back to that situation that I was talking about with my daughter, it was totally my past right. that was triggering the pain in in the in you know in the present tense. It was exactly me wanting her to get that paper done was twofold. It was triggering my own stuff about having to be the perfect student. And the fear that I felt if I didn't turn paper in, didn't get a hundred, like that was just like, (gasps) yeah, like awful, devastating. If I didn't, because I was the perfection, you know, perfectionist, but also like you and I talked about before that it brings up having to feel her pain. If exactly. Right. 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 And I don't want to hold spate. Not that I don't, it's hard. I would, I feel anxious and this is my past when I was, my loved ones were in pain or they were suffering because I'm such an empath that I would feel their pain so deeply and so strongly that it would really bother me. So that's why like, And I get anxious around that. So I don't want my daughter to feel the pain of the consequences of, you know, not turning in a paper. Right. So I go into trying to fix it mode. That's going back to, did you do your paper yet? Did you do your paper? (laughs) Cause you're projecting and thinking, okay, now there's going to be a mess to clean up. Yes. And I don't want to have to deal with the mess because that means I have to also deal with my own mess. (laughs) And that's how I felt all the time yep. as a little kid. Yep. And that, so that's still there. Not, you know, n- not as strong as it was, but there still are, m- let's say maybe micro layers. Right. I don't know, maybe they're macro layers and I'm not being honest with myself, yeah. but there's still layers to it um, that just still need mm-hmm. to be healed. And right. I go back to saying, not, I don't go back to saying it, but I've heard it said so many times, you can only heal in the present moment. Exactly. You can't, I can't heal the past in the past or in the future. I can only, so when it comes up, right. that's the practice of feeling your feelings exactly. and embracing the pain. Exactly. So while it may be old stuff, it's yeah. not, we, we don't have the concept that it's not, we're not back in that time. We think it our bodies think that everything thinks yes. that, but the reality is how is it showing up today? And how can I move forward today from a balanced body, mind, spirit connection to self yes. today? And I just keep laughing because the two cats are right there having a little batting fight. It's very cute. <laughs> <laughs> both trying to claim, claim a spot, claim so a spot. It's like they're trying to figure out. So maybe they're like living their life when they were kittens together. <laughs> Sorry, Who knows, I just right? totally got distracted. 
<laughs> it's well, totally I mean, I fine. Show you. It's it masks is. off. It, it mm. is. And so like just recognizing, you know, sometimes we're trying to avoid what we think is going to be future pain. Cause I know that was for both of us with our situation. Totally for me. Totally. It was like, let's clean it up now. False sense of control, false sense of security, because yeah. I know X, Y, Z will happen, which a, we don't know. We really don't know that, happen, but we are catastrophizing. And now all of a sudden Ooh. it's going to be a huge mess. And I'd rather deal with a smaller mess now, even though in reality, was, was there actually in either of our situations, a mess to clean up? Well, Not really. No, no, it was no, all we actually future made more of a mess. We made more of a mess. Oh my God. <laughs> so okay. thinking we were making things better. We were actually not yeah. in our lane. A hundred percent. Oh, see how beautiful this is the process. Right. So and uh, yeah. we can laugh about it. And like, I don't know about you, but my body was feeling so jittery and anxious and blaming myself and beating myself up. And then totally, you know, why couldn't, why shouldn't blah, blah, blah. And now I'm like, Oh, grateful for like yeah. this moment. And how does your body feel now? It's totally gr- much grounded. I mean, I have some re- lingering tension, I think just yes. from holding that tension. Yes. So now my body, so it's slowly like the muscles are letting go but I, I feel expansive. Do you feel more regulated now? Completely. You're, you're, yeah, me oh, too. Yeah. Oh, it's, this grateful. has been beautiful. Like we so grateful. Yeah. This was just beautiful unraveling mm-hmm. the process in real time and sharing with all of you listeners, the practice, this right. is the practice. Right. And we're all human, no matter where we are on the yeah. path, we will find that Valley at some point again. We will. We find we will. the top again and find the gratitude. Yeah. And find your community along the way. Definitely. I think that's key because we, yep. we can't heal in isolation. Exactly. No, we can't. Or and that's why I will isolation. say, yeah. And I'll say it again. I said at the beginning that we, Tia and I are here. You can reach out to us. We have our masks off Facebook community that you can join and um, you can just email either one yeah. of us if you need someone to help hold space for you. Exactly. Mm. Great. Yeah. Awesome. So, yeah. So this, I feel complete. Do you feel complete? I feel complete. So totally. thank right. you awesome. everyone for listening. And if you feel inclined, we always appreciate a subscribe, a like love comments or reviews. Yes. I know, you know, it's sometimes hard to write those reviews, but if you feel so inclined, we would be forever grateful. Absolutely. All right, everybody have a good one. Bye.